Well, hello everybody. Crake and Bake here for kind of a spur of the moment uh, streaming session. It, as you may uh, see from the title, it is currently nap time. Um, so I'm taking advantage of that to get a quick stream on. Ooh, that's real close. Um, taking advantage to get a quick stream in. Um, so we are limited by nap time rules, um, as you may remember from. A previous stream. Uh, this stream will go on as long as baby stays asleep. As soon as, uh, as soon as she decides to wake up, that'll be the end of things. So let's crack right into it and get going and see what we can take care of. It's pretty uh, pretty cold day out there, cold and wet. So I uh, felt like it was a good good time to get on and hang out for a bit. Hope everyone else has had a good start to their day, though. All right, got our got our starting supplies. Nice and dark out there. And so I believe our next steps, and that we'll kind of start in on on um, our base here, is going to be expanding this area out and uh, starting to make kind of a barn area. It'd be good to get some livestock going just for the different resources and foods and things that they can provide. So we'll go ahead and start working on that. And uh, hopefully all those scary noises come in are just all up overhead and not uh, behind this wall I'm about to dig out. Which I do think um, we'll go ahead and raise up this level one more, um, kind of giving us a up into the barn type feel, and then we'll start expanding out the structure there that we'll want to work with. these and then we're going to learn our lesson from last time of to not dig out from underneath the uh, stones if we can help it which hopefully it won't won't really matter since we've got a set of stairs under there already but let's see I'll go ahead and get I'm not entirely sure we'll need a decent amount of stairs Uh, I think we'll need a couple more than that. That should probably do it. It's not like we can't reuse stairs again somewhere else anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks just fine with the other stairs underneath. Good. Well, I don't know if anyone else is excited about it, but I'm happy to be getting on for another stream this week, especially after having such long gaps in previous... Oh, of course, I forgot I need like a hundred shovels when I'm digging stuff out. One of these days. One of these days I'll remember. But yeah, just kind of nice to get on and hang out with you guys. Hope hope everyone's having a, having a good one and just doing good out there. I don't know if anyone's got a warm drink they're enjoying right now. I have, I've been probably having more coffee than I need to. Just that kind of time of year when you always feel like you need, need to be sipping on something nice and warm. Alright, so we'll go back there and I think we'll kinda maybe have a little bit of a fence ledge or something. Could be kind of nice just to make a little bit of a barrier. Um, which the thing with the barn is it will be kind of a structure growing up out of the ground and then also kind of coming down into our underground uh, farm and mine area. So it's kind of a kind of a hybrid structure. And I guess we'll just kind of keep flattening it out from here and see what inspiration we get on on what kind of sizes to do. And I figured we'd have a multi-tiered farm. Whoops. Um, that way we're um, 
not limited to just making it super wide along this one path. It'll be kind of uh, different groupings of animals on each floor. Da, 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 da. Well, baby's snoozing good right now, so that's always a good sign. Let's see here. I suppose I could maybe do a a stretch. Boy, this is this is wider than I was expecting, which will probably have it transition to being like a wood wall. Um, kind of once we're getting over here to the farm area or the barn area. Um, hmm. It's very wide going this way. But I don't think we want to have it be equally deep going this way. How do I feel about that? I do always forget that we usually want more space, so I think I think let's go a little bit further, maybe those two more blocks. And then we'll kind of work with this area. I think that'll be a good Good space for kind of giving a little bit of room to work with for a, far, for a barn, but uh, not being completely uh, taking up our whole area. And of course we'll have some larger animals like cows and uh, pigs and we'll want a decent number of multicolored sheep, so, so we are going to want some, uh, some space to work around with all of that. I'm clearing out quite an area, so I better throw up some torches for now. <laughs> Our copious, copious amounts of dirt that we're getting, beginning to get. Oh, we must be getting close to grass, though, because or to the surface, because we're starting to get some grass growing in. Well, you don't have to be that far from the surface then to get grass popping up. Oops. I thought you had to be only like one or two blocks uh, away from it, but apparently we can have a little bit of distance. I suppose too our barn's going to shrink in as we uh, get those wood walls in place, too. Alright, how do we feel about this overall, though? Oh, Traveler. I guess we can go say hi to them in a minute. I think that's about what we want, though, for overall size for this, so it'll be good. Right, Mr. Traveling Salesman, what do you have to, what do you have to offer us? Uh-oh. Creeper. Uh, oh boy. Came away from the base. Oh boy. Well, uh, didn't quite get out of the way of that one the way I'd hoped, but we at least kept him uh, away from our general base area and didn't take too much of a blast. So that's all good. I tell you, those creepers. Just gotta go and ruin all the fun. Uh, let's see. Kind of want this terrain to be a little bit, a little bit nicer overall. So we'll kind of fill in this creeper hole back up. Oops. Um, is that about? Maybe a little bit more like that. That's probably pretty good. Looks. Whoa! What was that? I have no idea what that noise was. Well, I guess it's just going to be a mystery as to what the heck that was. Alright guy, what do you got to sell us? Coral, wheat, kelp, lime dye, a 
Podzol. I don't know what the heck that even is. A single slime ball. Yeah, nothing really that I uh, care about here, and I definitely don't have very many emeralds, so we'll just ignore you again. Let's see. Actually, do we want to be getting any resources while we're out and about? I guess nothing I can think of, but we should look at... So our barn area is kind of covering this area, and we are going to have it come up out of the ground at least a little ways. So we're going to want... Going to want to clear out some of the tree structures and stuff up here, but... I guess that's something we can fiddle around with in a little bit here. First off, we're going to need another, like, four shovels. All right, I'm all out of sticks. I should just make up a bunch of sticks. I'm always running out of these. Oh, I guess that uh, I guess that makes sense. Oh well, we'll just uh, go ahead and make what we can. Do 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 do. So we'll keep digging this space out. Then we'll get to start doing a little bit of the building and letting things take form a little bit. Which is always, uh, always good. As hypnotic as it can be and comforting as it can be to just start digging a big old hole and getting into that rhythm, it is uh, always nice to start actually putting something together. All right, there we go. We got our space cleared. The stage is set. So I think we'll maybe maybe have an entrance kind of around this area. And again, this will be like the lower level. So maybe it'll be like a split stairway going down off that entrance. So you might have like a little landing platform. Hmm. Yeah, I think that kind of makes sense. So if we do... Mm, yeah, we'll fiddle with that in a minute. Otherwise, we are going to need a lot more wood. Our supplies are getting kind of low, but I think we'll kind of do like some wood walls around the outer edge, and then have some pens built around the center, which I would like to get some animals into our area. So I think we'll start out just getting the pens, and then we'll worry about the decoration once things are in place more. Do I have some glass? I think I have decided I don't care for that wall. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see, can blast furnace do glass? Nope. There, we'll get that smelting up and we'll kind of tidy up our window. I think too I'll maybe expand the, the glass to go a little bit further that direction. Um, just going into the barn section a little bit more. So, now that I finally got enough shovels for things, we don't need all of these for the moment. But we do need our axes. And how much wood do we have to start off with? We've actually got a, a good number of logs there at the moment. So we'll see what uh, what we're able to get. I know we're going to need a lot more than that overall, but... All right, and probably a decent number of sticks, and then there's some fences. Honestly, yeah, we're just going to want a whole bunch of fences overall. 
Uh, we'll just go ahead and do that. I think we will make one or two gates, though. Ow. Oh no, that's an easy fix. Alright, we'll have a couple of gates, a few more fences, I guess that's fine. We'll see where that gets us. Alright. Okay, there was that noise again. Heck even is that? We're just gonna have mystery noises. I guess so we do have our mystery door right there, so some mystery noises are bound to pop up here and there. Oof, that traveling salesman is just hanging around. Don't you know I don't want anything? Alright, good, good, good. We got all that. Then we'll go ahead and make a couple of areas. I guess I should clear out. I want to make this all dirt. Any more coal down here? Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of coal. Ooh, there's a whole lot of coal, nice. One of those resources I never mind just stumbling across a big pocket of. Alright, good, good. Oh, gotta put some dirt back in hand. Won't need the plow for a little bit, so that'll be fine. Oops. Well, we got a little bit of a sleepy chat today, that's just fine. I can certainly just kind of keep rambling on about things. Something uh, I think I'd mentioned in my previous stream how start of the school year and how that's always kind of an exciting, was an exciting time for me. It uh, kind of feels like I'm back at school in a lot of ways with, with my new job. I'm kind of constantly learning, learning things, reading about new stuff I'd never thought about before or reviewing things that I just haven't had to think about for a long time it's it's kind of an odd feeling being back in that position after after having been in in one job for such a long time but yeah it's kind of nice getting to getting to shake things up a little bit getting to learn a little bit of new stuff meet new people just kind of a funny funny odd sensation to to be going through that again yeah, we'll clear out this wall, too. Oh, that was a gravel. All right, there we go. So now we can start in on our fence area. There's got to be something, like, right on the other side of this, or right below us, something going on, making all kinds of noises. All right, so I think down here I'd like to have, well, I don't know. Do we want this to be the cows and pigs, or do we want to have some sheep up here? Or sheep down here. The sheep are going to be in a solo area, just so we can get lots of nice, uh, colorful wools and things. Um, hmm. And actually, we will want to replenish uh, the sheep with plenty of grass so that they'll keep growing wool. So maybe we'll have this bottom area kind of be where we keep the sheep. Yeah, let's give that a try. And then we'll kind of have the upper barn areas be more of our food producing animals and things. Plus that'll kind of help brighten up this this lower lower cave area with some nice colorful nice colorful sheepies. I'll kind of back it up a little bit. Let's see. Where is center? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Perfect. So we're coming in two on each end, so that's a fourteen space to work with. 
And then, so yeah, we'll do 14, so it'll be 12 on each side, and then the, the gate, double gate in the middle. Now we might actually come off-centered one, just to kind of give a little bit more room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think actually, maybe we'll do that and kind of have a, a boarding area right up here. Uh-oh. I'm seeing baby up and up and awake. It's only been a half hour. You gotta sleep more. Oh boy. Well, we'll see if uh, see if she's able to calm herself back down. Otherwise, we might be might be getting to the end of this already. I'd like her to sleep a little bit longer than just a half hour. That's just not quite enough time. All right, so our wood only got us yay far. So we'll go ahead and go get some more wood out there. And it is dark out. Go ahead and uh, do some harvesting first, though. Oh, she is not happy. I don't know if she's getting picked up on the microphone at all, but uh, definitely not pleased here. We'll let her let her have a couple of minutes, see if she can get herself calmed back down. Otherwise, it might be a pretty short little morning nap here. Well, these potatoes sure have a tall branch in them. I wonder if those have, have reached the mature state then. We'll keep ignoring them and see if they make any changes. I don't really know what a uh, finished growing potato looks like. Alright, nice. Whoops, I accidentally did hit that one down there. Alright. Got that all cleared. Nice and harvested. Go ahead and put our resources back in our chests. Let's see. Don't need these things for now anyways. I guess I'll tuck the fish away there too and the apples. We don't uh aren't needing those for food at the moment. Actually we'll keep a little bit of stone for making new tools and stuff. And boy, otherwise our uh chest that we've been putting things that we dig out has uh gotten quite filled up. Might have to get a little bit more storage going. Probably put some uh, some more chests or barrels or something down here. All right. Well, there's an awful lot of crying going on in that room. Not seeing a whole lot of signs of settling herself back down. Well, we'll keep hoping for another couple of minutes, but otherwise this uh, might sadly be getting to be the end here. We will go venture forth, go see what logs we can get. I think we will um, stick with the trees that are kind of right over here, since this is actually a spot that we're going to be wanting to clear out soon. Oh, I saw smoke over here. Is that uh Ooh, skeleton. Do some dodging weaving. Ha ha. See if we can't get some good resources. Well, we got an arrow. Was hoping to get the kill on it, but uh, that's all right. Oh, a lead. Did one of the one of the llamas break off? Can we steal this llama? That'd be kind of fun. You are mine now. Ha 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 ha. You are my llama. 
and you must deal with it. That's right. I do what I want. Well, we're going to finish stealing this llama, and then unfortunately I think I'm going to have to take off. All right, llama, get down here. Aha! One llama! That's what you get for breaking your lead. You thought you were going to come here and sell me things, but instead I just take your llama. Deal with it. I wonder if that just means that he'll stick around now. Ooh, we might actually be having someone putting themselves back down after all. All right, we're going to keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, that's right, you're confused. Where the heck did your llama go? It's mine now. All right, as I was saying, before we uh, had to engage in some llama theft... I think we'll clear out these couple of trees that are right here. Um, since they're going to be over the area, we'll want to clear out for our barn anyways. So we're getting kind of that double utility of getting some good resources and getting some good landscaping. And let's see. I think we'll leave the ones that are over the greenhouse space for now. But we'll want to clear out these few. Mm. And we'll want to clear this one out just for our sake of our entrance, if nothing else. Alright, very nice, very nice. Getting some some good space here. And maybe these two as well that are kind of in this back corner. We'll probably want to get rid of them for, for the sake of the walls of the outer part of the barn. Oop. Good thing I have a second axe. Okay. Well, I think that'll take care of our space clearing out that we'll want to do. Yep, and unfortunately it does seem like somebody is just not quite settling themselves down, so I believe we are unfortunately going to have to call it an abrupt end to our, our nap time stream. I was really hoping to get another half hour out of it, but that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. Miss Miss Baby Girl there is uh, having a little bit of a little bit of a sleep regression, so naps tend to not be be going quite as well as before, so thanks everyone who was, was able to tune in for this abrupt and brief uh, little stream here. Glad you're able to get on and hang out. We didn't, uh, didn't make as much progress as I would have liked, but we got at least some space cleared out and got the stage set a little bit better for, for down the road. And I suppose our important thing we did do, we got a llama. All right. Well, this has been Crake and Bake, and uh, thanks for everyone joining in, and we'll see you next time.